Meatball, line up, AOA. Meatball, line up, AOA. Ball, ball, ball. I'm not so sure about this one. Uh, oh, we're good. <laughs> it's not that scary. But there is a ton that has to happen before we ever get to this point. Let's back it on up so you can come along for the ride. <laughs> Hello ladies and gents, and welcome inside the cockpit of a Navy C-2A Greyhound. I'm your host and pilot for today's flight, Rob Roy, that's me on the right side of the screen, joined by an awesome co-pilot of mine on the left, and we're getting ready to trap aboard the USS Harry S. Truman in the middle of the ocean. We're getting ready for what's called a DB straight-in, but there's no time to explain that now. We just finished our approach checklist and are down to the landing checks. I just lowered the gear handle after asking my co-pilot to clear me on our airspeed, and we saw the airplane jiggle a little bit once the landing gear starts coming down. There was also just a red flicker on the dash. That's our wheel's warning light, telling us the gear is in transit. And we both just looked out of our windows to confirm the gear is three down and locked. He then calls out the boldface items of the landing checklist, and I tell him what I see. Power lever lock, it's set. Hook, it's down. Landing gear, three down and locked, on the left and on the right. Flaps, they're set. Max rudder switch, 20 degrees. Crew, they say over ICS, ready. Harnesses, locked. I mentioned before that we're coming in for a DV straight in. DV means distinguished visitor, and we have to do the straight in anytime VIPs are flying on board. Also, if you haven't noticed, the aircraft carrier is coming into view on the horizon. We're still a few miles away at this point, but boy, does it look small. Coming in for the straight in here is a lot like landing on a normal runway, except for the fact that it's moving away from us and always a little to the right. Now, as pilots, we prefer the break any day of the week. It's so much more fun. But orders are orders, and it would be a real shame to get those congressmen, senators, and foreign heads of state sick, all because Rob Roy wanted to rip it behind the boat. The mission of the C-2 is carrier onboard delivery, which is why it's nicknamed the COD. We bring all kinds of stuff to the aircraft carrier so it can stay out at sea longer. Usually, that includes cargo, mail, sailors and marines, and VIPs, but I've also flown up pizzas, shawarmas, tailor-made suits from the local market, Amazon Prime packages, and bags of lettuce when the ship ran out of greens for a while. True story. Now at this point, the only thing left to do is to intercept the glide slope and fly the ball. Okay, so what is the ball? The ball, or the meatball, is a tiny light on the left side of the ship that we reference to know where we are on glide slope. If it's white, we're too high. If it's red, we're too low. And if it's amber in color, we are right on glide path. Now, do you see my left thumb moving a lot on the yoke? I'm constantly moving the trim switch, and any civilian pilot would say that I'm moving the yoke like a madman. You need to realize, though, that our controls are not nearly as responsive as other planes out there, and I'm very high on the power, trying to fly on speed, so that our tail hook is at the correct angle to catch a wire. Add in the fact that our engines produce 4,600 shaft horsepower each, you get a tremendous amount of yaw. So I have to stay two steps ahead of the airplane in order for this to work. Now, look at the AOA indexer, or angle of attack. If you see a red chevron on the bottom, that means I'm fast. Green on the top means I'm slow, and amber circle means I'm on speed, where we want to be. Now I'm flying the ball, but I'm a little fast, working it down. Meatball, line up AOA. I just got on speed, back outside. Meatball, line up AOA. You see the ball? We're looking good, but I'm a little high, working it down. Meatball, line up AOA. Stay on center line. Meatball, line up AOA. Little power to catch it. Easy with it. Ball, ball, ball. Mmm, there it is. Hurts so good every time. Well, that's it for now, boys and girls. I gotta go hit the head and grab a quick bite so we can get off this ship faster than you can ask. What happened to Rob's mustache? Until next time, I'm out of here. See ya! Wow, look at that. You shaved off part of your mustache. That's lovely. I didn't shave it off. It rubbed off. From friction. Ugh.